Your beliefs hold power over you. They limit you because they are not true. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, did over four and a half million dollars in revenue, hired over 50 people, only to find out that those things don't matter to me. What I care about is the truth. And the truth is that you can be the first person who does the impossible. The doctors tell you, you can't do this and you will do it. But you will not do it if you hold limiting beliefs. And the truth is that every belief is limited. Even the beliefs that are set high, they're still limiting. So ask yourself, if you may, what do I believe? And is it true? What do I believe? And is it true? What do I believe? And is it true? I can't repeat it enough because these are the real game changers. There's a lot of practical stuff that can help with whatever goal you're trying to accomplish, but the limiting beliefs are invisible until you discover them. And trust me, some of them can hurt and they can hurt a lot because you realize how limiting they have been the whole time. And there is nothing more practical than asking yourself right now, what do I believe? What do I believe? Ask it, what do I believe? And is it true? For instance, do I believe in God? And is that belief true? Or is the only truth you can find that you don't know, that you can't be certain? If that becomes a heartfelt realization, then in an instant, you could drop all of the rituals. I'm not saying you should, but you probably would because you don't see the point in doing them anymore. And in fact, you could feel a lot of pain, a lot of regret, a lot of wasted time in doing them for all those years and for not having asked yourself earlier. And if you do not wish to know the truth, all I can say is I understand. I really do, because the truth can hurt, hurt a lot. And once it is seen, it can't be unseen. Once you know Santa Claus is not real, you can try whatever you want, you can try to believe he isn't, but once you know, you know. That is not good or bad. It is extremely practical because you can focus on what really matters, but it can hurt temporarily, which is why many, many, many people avoid it. Just look back when, whenever your parents told you that Santa Claus didn't exist, or another thing that you thought to be true wasn't true, someone else told you how much you didn't like that. Once you know the truth, you know, and that's the only thing and the only reason why people pursue it and why many don't. If you want to know the truth behind your current problem, you can't seem to find it. Then you can send me an email or schedule a call with me if you want to find it faster, if you don't want to do it by yourself or are not able to. And once those limiting beliefs are gone, you can jump through the roof. Whereas before you did not believe it was possible. If you see that as a benefit, you may, but it is not, it's just the truth. That's all, talk soon. And here's my poem about the essence of this video. The walls around you may seem so high, but they're built by beliefs you hold inside. These thoughts may seem like solid truth, yet they limit your potential in all pursuits. Ask yourself what you believe and question, is that really all you can achieve? Some beliefs seem to reach so high, but even they limit your sky. The truth can hurt at first, but it sets you free before you hit another tree that holds your key. But from another light, you may understand the impossible lies in your own tiny mighty hands.